rod gear on three and four on the crankshaft has failed. And this is uh, this has been a problem that I'm trying to address on this engine. So uh, a lot of changes have been made to the crankshaft. Uh, some modifications have been made. So this is part of the testing. We're going to see how it works. Um, I'm going to turn this on. Then I'll and turn on the oil pump first. Turn it up to, I've got to run 10 pounds of oil pressure now. This is uh, it's quite a bit higher than what we've been running before. I'm going to go ahead and start this up. Do the walk around with this with us running. Give you the indication of the uh, oiling. This is at an idle. Very quiet. It's had four hours run in. Uh, I don't like to run it up any higher uh, than 5,000 RPM until I get at least uh, five, six hours on the uh, crankshaft operation. When you first uh, start this engine up after a rebuild and a new crankshaft, it's pretty noisy. It, it's uh, it's very noisy and it takes a while for it to run in. It's uh, pretty quiet. This is typical of the testing that goes on with this engine. That Okay, and that's, uh, that's the walk around on this. Let's put it back on the tripod. Get up to 3,500 for you. Three thousand five hundred. Now we're going to run it up a little higher. So anything over three thousand five hundred, the uh, containment shield goes on. So now with the containment shield or blast shield, whatever you want to call it, in place, we'll run it up. Uh, we got 10 pounds oil pressure still. We're going to run it up to uh, we're going to run up to 4,500 here for you. Okay, the oil temperature is about 85 degrees. It's running about about 10 degrees lower than uh, the last video video uh, that was uh, 7,000 uh, RPM visible V8 at 7,000 RPM. So. So it's 10 degrees lower and it's about 
about three or four pounds higher oil pressure. So we're going to run up to 4,500 uh, on this new crankshaft until it gets fully run in. It won't. I won't push it past uh, 5,000 until it gets quite a bit of run time on the crankshaft. But for right now, we'll just run this up for you. Six hundred right there. Still idles really nice. <laughs> when you first, uh, like I said before, when you first uh, rebuild the, put a new uh, crankshaft in it, and put it all together, it rattles for the first half hour running. It rattles pretty bad, but then it, it slowly. Uh, quiets down and after it runs for about five or six hours it runs very smooth nice and smooth so knocks off all the high points apparently and runs itself in so I'll run it up one more time We've got 85 uh, degrees of oil pressure or oil temperature and 10 pounds oil pressure uh, one more time on this test this is test number 58. Now, that's just typical of the testing that goes on with this engine. Uh, as you can tell, it's very quiet. Okay, well, that's the end of uh, test number 58, and today's October 3rd, uh, 2010. So it's just an update on where the engine is right now, a little visible V8. And we'll have some more tests. So that's it for now.